Hello everybody and welcome to the Cheese Doodly Cafe. Don't let us quaint appearance fool you, this is a dining experience that you won't want to miss. Hey guys, it's me Rose Simmer and welcome to part 40 of The Sims 2 LP. It's time to get open for business. Yeah, everybody, as you can see, it is finally time to play with Open for Business, which I am so, so, so excited about because I've never really played too, too much with it um, in my time of playing Sims 2, and I am so excited to finally be doing it with Brooklyn. So as you can see, um, I went in her head and purchased quite a small um, lot. I do want to eventually build onto it to maybe make a... Um, like a more of a restaurant or something like that. I don't know. It will get better in the future, of course. Um... But for now, it is super, t super quaint and tiny. And, uh, yeah, so, um, first of all, um, if you guys remember in the last part, Brooklyn and Garrett got married, and it was a super beautiful wedding. Um, I loved it a lot, honestly. And, um, so yeah, a lot of you guys said that you wanted to have another kid, but I'm not sure if I want to do that quite yet. I kind of want to focus on, like, the business and the career for just a little bit more, and then we might have another baby or we might adopt. I'm not really sure too much what I want to do quite yet, but, um, something will be happening, I promise you guys. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, um, start up open for business. Also, I got a notification that Jan is failing in school, so I mean... That's cool, but anyways, so as you can see, um, there's not too much, um, really in this shop, um, basically I have a couple of tables outside so they can, um, if customers want, they can go ahead and eat, um, I have these little stands for us to display what we have for sale, which I went ahead and had Brooklyn, um, make up some stuff that we will go ahead and sell for sale here and I also went ahead and um got a little coffee bar so it can be kind of like maybe it's a little bit of like a Starbucks kind of cafe thing I'm not really sure but um yeah first of all I think I want to go ahead and hire somebody to work as the barista because I think Brooklyn is mostly going to focus on like trying to get the customers to like buy the baked goods and stuff so yeah she's going to go ahead oh my gosh we could have a little uniform. I really want to do that, actually. Okay. But, um, yeah, first of all, I think we're going to go ahead and, um, hire, um, some employees, or at least one employee. We need to get someone to work as a barista for us. Alright, so let us see who we can hire. Um, so we have Meadow Pierce. Pe Pedersen? Pedersen? Yeah. Meadow Pedersen. She's good at logic and creativity. Um, I'm thinking you'll probably want someone... Um, that is, um, pretty good at, like, cooking, maybe, um, just in case we need help with that at some point, um, and probably someone who's not too expensive, because as you can see, we are not the richest right now. Um, let's see, we also have Neri Turner, he has a talent badge in being a, um, cash register guy. Um, he's good at creativity. Nicholas Barthlet, he, he, he wants lots of money, but he does have quite a bit of varied skills. Um, Pong Grudst... Grunt, grunt straw? I don't even know. Okay. But he's very creative. And we also have Ryan Wheeler. Hmm. Um, so this guy, um, actually has a talent badge in the register, but I just want someone to work as a barista. So I'm thinking Meadow Pedersen will probably be okay, um, for a barista for us, and she doesn't require too much money, so that's good for us. Um, so yeah. Meadow Pedersen, you are hired. Um... Yeah, I want to give her a new job. Come here. Come to me, Meadow. You're working for me now. Okay, congratulations. Your new staff is ready and waiting. Use the phone or the open slash close sign to call your employees in for work. Okay, so next I want to see if I can go ahead and, like, set a uniform. I think that would be super cute. Um, so yeah, let's see what our options are for setting a uniform. By the way, guys, this part is mostly going to focus on open for business, as I kind of said in the intro. Um, but we'll be back to the fam in the next part. Oh my goodness, we can set a <gasps> Guys, this is so cute. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm screaming. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm thinking maybe um they'll like have them like wear their hair up, maybe. Um, so yeah. Okay, cool. So they'll have like their hair up, um, and then oh, okay. I, I see. We'll have their hair up and then we will have them all wear trash squad t-shirts. <laughs> Yes, please. Um, do, do, do. What would be good? What would be good? Maybe some kind of, like, little dress. I know there's some really cute. Or maybe some rompers. That would be really cute. Um, oh, there's, like, this one dress that I'm thinking about that might be really, really cute. 
Um, yeah, this is mostly going to be just like a quaint little cafe for now. I'm thinking maybe in the future, um, we'll expand it into more like a diner slash restaurant kind of thing. Maybe even like a huge like family store thing. I'm not really too sure yet, but for now, we do have these, which might work pretty well. Um, because they are like from Open for Business, but there were these other ones that I had in mind if I can find them. Oh, yeah, 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 there they are. Okay. Um, whoops, where, okay, where'd it go? Go back. <laughs> yeah, um, these are super cute. Super cute. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking I'll go ahead and set that as our uniform. So this will be what Brooklyn will wear. Um, add business outfits. Yes. So now this is our business outfit. Um, I think that's super cute. Okay. So yeah, look at Brooklyn. She looks so, so cute. Adorable. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna scream. She looks so adorable right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, so before we go ahead and open up for business, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, place down the things that we have to sell. Um, we don't have too, too much, because, I mean, Brooklyn literally started burning the kitchen down. What's new? Um, not even kidding with you guys. Um, she set it on fire. I mean, Brooklyn, what's good? Um, but we do have, um, a couple orders of crepes and a cake as well. So, we're gonna go ahead and, um set that cake there and we will put down the crepes as well Ooh, it gets all lighted up um we'll also sell um a our video game thing because brooklyn needs to stop focusing on that honestly <laughs> and i guess we might as well go ahead and put up the deed um that we own the place as well just so people know people know we didn't like steal it from somewhere how do you even steal a piece of property i don't know probably possible though um but yeah so now we have these things to sell and what we can do is go ahead and um, place them for sale. Um, so the average for this is 104 simoleons. That's a lot. Um, the average. For Whoa! We can get a lot of money out of this. Heck yeah! Mm. <laughs> okay, so Brooklyn, why don't you go ahead and come on over here. And um, set... Can we not set a price for that? Okay, let's go ahead and set the price um, for that. We might just go with like the averages, um, I'm thinking, maybe. Why can we not set the price for this cake? I don't... Do we need to put it in another thing? I don't know. Um... But yeah. She's gonna go ahead. Look at her. Look at her. Um, average. Maybe we'll make it a little bit cheaper. Maybe just for, like, our first, um, day on the job to, like, maybe get more customers in. Be like, hey, we have pretty cheap prices, you know? Come get our... Come get our crates, right? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we will do that. She hates Tiffany for some reason right now, and I do not know why. Um, but yeah, we got that, and do I need to move this Oh, okay, else? I see, I see, I got this. This is like my first time really playing with Open for Business, so, um, yeah. So we'll go ahead and set the crepes to a, um, a bit of a cheaper price, um, but I think we'll, um, kind of keep, um, Maybe a little bit of a higher price for the cake, because, I mean, you're getting an entire cake, so yeah. We'll go ahead and make those both, um, kind of cheaper. And then, as for this cake, oh my gosh, Brooklyn looks really cute right now. I, I can't. She looks so, so adorable. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Um, but yeah. And then, as for this cake, um, we might set it to a little bit of a higher price, um, just because, I mean, hey, you're getting a whole cake, um, so, um, expensive, very expensive, ridiculously expensive, ridiculously cheap. Um, mm, mm, mm. I think I'll just go with the average on the cake, actually. Um, so yeah, we are pretty much ready to, um, get open for business. So we're gonna come over here to our little sign, and, um, first of all, we'll call in the employees and make sure that, um, this girl knows what she's doing. Um, Cobra! That, did, did she hear us from, like, all the way across town, or, like, what? <laughs> Where is she, though? Hopefully she'll come. Hello? Um, what's your face? Are you, are you gonna come? I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just... I'm here for my first day of work. Don't forget to assign me a job to perform. Hey, girl. Um, so first of all, I think I want to give her a little, you know uniform because I mean girl what is this what is this that you are wearing um so yeah oh yeah so we can assign her to be the barista so Meadow you will be the barista um but first of all can I maybe um you are fired no okay um let's go ahead and set a uniform for her so that she looks as cute as the rest of us ooh, to be honest ooh, okay Meadow I got you 
I got you, girl. Um, I don't want her to look exactly like us, so I think we're going to go ahead and create a little bit of a variation, maybe. I think she'll go ahead and um, have... Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and go with this braid, um, but I do want her to go ahead and um, kind of have the same kind of dress as us, but maybe I'll give hers like a different color or pattern. This is honestly like super cute though. I love it. <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking maybe she'll go for like a red so we can be like blue and red cuties. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and add that to our business outfits, and I will have her do that one. Oh yeah, girl, you look super duper cute. Alright, so I think we are all about ready to go ahead and get open for business. Let's go! <laughs> Flip that sign, Brooklyn. Do it, girl. Aw oh, yeah, so we are now open and ready for business. So let's see who our first customer is ever will be. Don't order a coffee at your own place, Brooklyn. Really? Are you really gonna- okay. Okay, wow, Brooklyn, wow. Um... Oh my. Interesting. So, Tiffany is our very first customer. Now, if you guys watched the last part, when Brooklyn got married, Tiffany actually slapped her, which I'm not sure why she did. I think the game- um, somehow accidentally thought that we had a romantic relationship with her at one time, which we, uh, did not intend to, um, but, uh, Brooklyn, get off, um, but hey, she is our very first customer, so I mean, I guess so. Hello, Tiffany, and welcome to our bakery. So yeah, this is kind of how Open for Business works. Um, you pretty much have to convince the customers to buy the item. So we're, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and greet her and, like, welcome her to the bakery. Be like, hey girl, how you doing? Jesus. I mean, you just totally slapped me at my wedding. Oh, is she like, is she sassing us right now? Okay, but yeah, for sales, we're gonna go ahead and give her a little basic sell. Um, since it is our, our first time kind of selling. Man, this is a lot popular than I thought it would be. No, you're not gonna? What do you think, Tiffany? Come on, girl. Oh no! It's not working? Hey, Tiffany kind of hates us anyways, so stop ordering coffee, but at least people- Ooh! Oh, oh, oh! Congratulations! This is the first simoleon earned by Brooklyn from Cheese Dooley Cafe. It has been placed in Brooklyn's inventory. Display this award with pride for all to see. <gasps> is this like- Is this like Mr. Krabs, his millionth dollar? <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Let me just put that up. Like, guys, we literally, we literally just earned this. Good job, everybody. Good job. I'm just gonna put it. Where should we put it? There we go. The there we go. Look at that. Um, so yeah, it's probably a good idea to have, like, the coffee here, because if we can't get them to buy these, then maybe they'll like to buy the coffee. Um, so since Tiffany kind of hates us, let's go ahead and go over to this girl right here, Danielle Day. Brooklyn, stop ordering coffee from your own, um, place. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, you know, kind of greet her. Be like, hey girl, how you doing? You wanna buy some crepes? Cause, I mean, I got some crepes. Brooklyn, stop. You have a job to do, and it is not getting coffee. Stop. Stop. Brooklyn, she's starting to shake. Okay, I'm scared. Um, but hey girl, she looks like she's pretty sold already. So, we'll go ahead and, um, you know, give her like a bit- People are like jittering in this place from the coffee. Hopefully they won't like explode. <laughs> okay, but be like, hey, these are some very nice crepes. You wanna get them? Ooh, is she gonna buy them? Is she gonna buy them? <gasps> I think she is! <gasps> this is like our very first sale. Brooklyn, stop ordering coffee. You need to stop. Okay, but does that mean that she is buying it? Okay, so let's go ahead and go be the cashier real quick. Did she buy it? I think maybe she did. Is anyone gonna... I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, she is. So yeah, this is our very first official sale, guys. Now, I don't know how well Brooklyn knows how to work a cash register, but we will try. She's, like, shaking from the coffee. This needs to stop. <laughs> okay. Come on, Brooklyn. Come on. We might need to hire, like, a cashier or something because, yeah, this is... <laughs> she does not know what she's doing right now. At all. Okay, cool, but we made our very first sale. So let's go over here and try to convince this lady as well. This Are they both named Danielle? Whoa, they are both named Danielle, what do you know? Okay, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do her little basic sell. 
Stop uh, being a cashier. Yeah, we definitely are probably going to need to hire a cashier because Brooklyn doesn't know what the heck she's doing. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, girl. I really hope someone buys the cake because that's the most expensive item that we have. So, that would be that would be nice, honestly. That would be very nice. Someone wants to go ahead and get that. Um, as for you, I'll go ahead and give her a little basic. Stop ordering coffee. What are you even doing, Elise? What are you even doing? Alright, so um, I think she's ready to buy, so we're going to go over here and be the cashier real quick. Wow, Tiffany just really doesn't... Tiffany, you can leave, honestly. I don't think she's going to buy anything, because she hates us right now. For some apparent reason, which I am not sure about. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're definitely going to need to hire a cashier. <laughs> it's official. Because Brooklyn is so bad at this. Oh, ooh, who is this? Is she like... Ooh, who is this? Are we be getting lectured on how bad our business is? Who are you? Is she like a critic? I didn't even notice. I am so sorry. I've taken a look at your business and I'm disappointed. I've written a bad review to warn others about your lackluster establishment. What? But we just opened it. Stop. Stop. We have just barely opened. That is not fair at all. Stop ordering coffee. Come on now. That's not fair. Wow, just wow. Can't believe it. Like, it's our first day on the job. Come on. At least we got our first dollar. Brooklyn, you need to stop ordering coffee. Seriously, you do. <laughs> Dang it. Now she wrote, I didn't even know that, that that was a critic. That's not fair. We get a critic on our first day. Okay, well, we'll have to really impress this Jill girl, and hopefully she'll give us, like, a good review or something. <coughs> or, you know, she'll just, like, walk out. That's good, too. I'm sorry, I'm like choking right now, but you know. Ah, that, that Tiffany, don't like spread rumors about us. Um, we are just trying to make a living here. Stop it. Stop ordering coffee. Um, let's go ahead and um, greet this Jill girl. Stop ordering coffee, Brooklyn, honestly. Okay, I just want to make one more sale for the day. Come on. Hello. Would you like to? Yeah, let's go ahead and show this item to Jill. Be like, look at this cake. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you like to be the owner of this cake? Like, I have a great cake in there. If you would like to buy it, that would be really great. Really great. Look at that cake. So good. So amazing, isn't it? Don't you just love it? Uh, but yeah, let's ask her if we can help her. Stop ordering coffee. Brooklyn, you need to stop. She's like, so like... She's, like, jacked up on caffeine right now. She needs to chill. Take a chill pill. Okay. But yeah, let's go and offer her some help. She looks like she may be a little bit confused. Be like, hey, what would you like to buy? Okay, this is going pretty well. Brooklyn, are you not giving her help? Are you really? What? Brooklyn, what are you doing? Okay, look, we just need to get someone to... Oh, we can buy a potion from her, but I mean, okay. Oh, she must be the gardening lady. Okay, let's see if we can get Tiffany to buy this. Just for us. Uh, I just want someone to buy this cake for the last the last portion of our night. See, would you not like to buy this beautiful cake? Oh, wow. But, I mean, hey, it's our first day. It's kind of awkward, but it's happening, so you know. Stop it. Stop ordering coffee. At least the coffee is making some money. That's good. Tiffany's a hard sell, so let's see if we can, like, impress her or something like that. Stop ordering coffee. Why? <laughs> okay. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, you know, and we'll go ahead and, you know, we'll just go ahead and admire her a little bit. Be like, you look so good. You would look even better with some cake. Hey, okay. She's probably not going to buy it, so. Yeah, she's not. Okay. Okay, then, Tiffany. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and close the business for today. Um, we'll definitely have to try another day, but it was nice just to have, like... Can we just pee ourselves? Great. Oh, you know what, Meadow? Meadow, you can go home. <laughs> okay, let's send all our employees home. The business is closed for today. It was kind of an interesting first day at work, um, at our business, but I mean, hey... You can't expect it to go perfectly the first time, so it's fine. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. This was just a little taste of open for business in this part. I thought it was pretty fun to do. In the next part, um, we might work a little bit more on the business. Um, 
I'm so sorry. I did not know that lady was a critic, um, because I've never really worked with open prisons before, but hopefully she will come back in and she will see that our business is better. Also, we will probably hire a cashier because Brooklyn does not know what the heck she's doing. But anyways, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Love you all so, so much. I'll see you on the next part. Bye, everybody.